Hello everyone, Jules here. Today I want to talk about a topic in regard to the planet Saturn and I wanted to talk about this in regard to what I'm referring to as a metaphysical myth. And this is the topic of the planet Saturn in regard to Satan. Now I find this a really interesting topic. I have actually known about this kind of correspondence going around for a while and I want to talk about the origins of this myth. So I'm going to be showing a few tarot cards from the Universal Tarot by Roberto De Angelis. And I'm also going to be referring to a book an astrology book. This particular astrology book called Saturn by Liz Green and this is an old copy of this book and it is still available but with a different cover but I particularly like this old cover, this older version of the book because I love the illustration on the cover and I think a lot of people familiar with tarot will find this figure familiar, familiar looking because it is very much like the Hermit card and I'm going to be talking about that as well. This is one of the best books about Saturn that I think has ever been written. So if you are able to get this book or if you're interested in getting this book and want to read about the planet Saturn especially in regard to not only astrology but in regard to the myth the myth that is associated with the planet Saturn and this you know Saturn is the Roman name for the planet and the god and the Greek name is Kronos and I just want to read something, a little, a little um, verse here in the beginning of the book. Of, before I go a little bit further, the full title of the book is Saturn, A New Look at an Old Devil. So that gives you an idea also that the some of the discussion in the book is a little bit about the myth and the association of Saturn with Satan or the devil. And I just want to read this little quote here and it's, it's by Alice Bailey who is uh, you know, a, a very well respected esoteric author from many years ago who actually influenced um, me in a lot of ways with metaphysical thought. This is a quote from Alice Bailey. When the disciple knows Saturn as the God who offers opportunity and does not only feel him to be deity who brings disaster then he is on the path of disciples, discipleship in truth and in deed and not just theoretically. So I really love that quote and I think it's very true. And that amongst other things is really the, the basis of what I'm going to be talking about. The idea of Saturn being associated with Satan in astrology, it really is a myth and, and it is really originated back to the time when astrology started to become Christianized. And this is the point that Liz Green makes in the uh, introduction of the book. I think that's a very important point. In the time of the Greek myths, when Saturn was also was known as Kronos, and this was the god of time, you know, the lord of karma. 
in those days, in the ancient Greek days, the gods had a more neutral kind of reputation. And it wasn't until astrology began to be Christianized during the medieval and the later Renaissance period that these kinds of associations started coming into astrology. And even in the ancient Greek times with ancient Greek mythology, the, the Greek myths were used as a kind of moral code in some ways. They did influence the behaviour and thought of the people and even the philosophy at the time. So there are these layers of moral code that later became Christianized and became part of religion. So that is probably the most likely way that Saturn, the planet Saturn, has ever been or began to be sometimes associated with Satan. So I always see the planet Saturn as as as, as a good as a good planet. I see I see Saturn as something, you know, the Lord of Karma, you know, this is all about lessons and really important lessons. You know, Saturn is the planet of limitation and restriction, but being the, you know, Lord of Karma, that is really important because lessons will be learned. You know, if you are if you are restricted or limited in some way, there is a reason for that. So, you know, I, I am actually quite positive about the planet Saturn. I, I don't see it as, as a maligned planet at all. So this is this is a great book. Now, let's have a look at the Hermit card. And in French esoteric school, in the fresh French esoteric thought, the Hermit card is associated with Saturn. And I have always seen the Hermit card in a positive light as well. So, you know, Saturn and, and associated with the Hermit card in this way, you know, th this is, this is, you know, associated with wisdom. You know, this is someone, this is a, an archetype representing, you know, experience and, and long periods of time. So I think, you know, it's a very negative association and an unnecessary one to ever have the planet Saturn equated in some way with the con with, no, with the concept of of Satan. No, it's obviously, you know, a Christianization of the planet Saturn. So, you know, I, I really do think, and I, I refer to this as a metaphysical myth, and it is a metaphysical myth. So, the Hermit card. And then we have the ultimate Christianization of Saturn here in the Devil card because with the Golden Dawn associations, the sign of Capricorn is associated with the Devil card. And Saturn rules the sign of Capricorn. And I think a lot of people also don't realise that even the sign of Capricorn was originally a sea goat. It was half land and half water, half land and half water, um, figure, symbol. And of course this deck, this Universal Tarot is a Waite Smith based deck. 
and Arthur Waite was a Christian mystic. So knowing that there is a Christian emphasis and influence on the Waite Smith tarot, you know, this is the ultimate Christian Christianization of Capricorn and therefore the planet Saturn. So I mean this card ultimately represents this this supposed you know myth about you know a Saturn and Satan connection. So there's that one. And let's have a look at what the planet Saturn is associated with the Golden Dawn and the Tarot. You know, the universe or the world. And it's a really interesting association because the planet Saturn does have kind of two sides in the way that it represents worldly uh, issues but it also represents karma and universal laws. So I think, you know, this is a really good association for the planet Saturn. And I think if a lot of people think of the planet Saturn in this way, you know, this is definitely, you know, a, a, a much more fulfilling and beneficial way to regard the planet Saturn. So, you know, this, this is really a much, a much truer representation of the planet Saturn. And something else that I want to mention as well, which is the Justice card. And this is associated with the sign of Libra. And in astrology, the planet Saturn is exalted in the sign of Libra. And by exalted, that kind of means that um, the planet Saturn is um, thought of as an honoured guest in that sign. It is, you know, a planet when it is exalted not only, you know, this is this goes in a higher level than ruling a sign. So if you think about the planet Saturn in, you know, in its exalted form, with the, you know, exalted in the sign of Libra, this is justice and balance and karma again. You know, this this card can represent worldly laws, but it can also represent universal laws. And I was told by a lawyer many years ago that justice is not the law. I was told that justice is not the same thing as the law. And what the lawyer meant by that is that some people confuse fairness with justice. They may think that something is unfair. For example, you know, you may get, you know, criminals who are actually quite convinced or they believe that they are innocent, but that, that is not the law. They think it's unfair. That, they, that they're in jail or they're going to jail. But that is where fairness is not the same as justice. And it's the same thing with universal laws too. You know, the planet Saturn as the Lord of Karma is seen in this negative way because, you know, it's kind of like tough love. And it's too much reality. A lot of people don't want that. They don't want to know about that. They don't want to face harsh realities. 
So they convince themselves that oh, something is unfair and, you know, they, they believe their own moral code, their own personal um, sense of justice, which is not the same thing as karma and universal law. And it's not the same thing, you know, the difference between fairness and, and, and justice and, and, and worldly laws. It's, it's, not, it's all not the same. So there is a higher ethical reality, whether people are aware of that or not. And I think if you put these two cards together too, Know, seeing this planet Saturn exalted in the sign of Libra. You know, this, this is the true, this is the real meaning of the planet Saturn. It is not the Christianized form or interpretation. You know, Saturn, the planet Saturn is not the same thing as Satan. It isn't. For all the reasons that I've just outlined in my video. So I hope you enjoyed some of my thoughts about the metaphysical myth in regard to the planet, planet Saturn not being Satan at all. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.